solid 13, which I normally wouldn't dig, but it was just nice and shallow. And just a solid tone. That's giving me 10 cents. Up to 15. Alright, we'll keep going. It's a solid number 10 in the heads up display there. 25 cents, but it's been a while since I got out. I'm trying to film everything good I get uh, for today. Let's hope it gets better from here. <laughs> okay. That's more like it. Solid, uh, well, not solid, it's probably 25, 26. Mostly jumping on the 26. Up to 1961, half penny. Or hay penny, as I used to call them. Better, so a bit more history. Let's keep going. It's a shame, I think I'm, I nicked that one. 1943 It's Very deep down. It's like a 22 23 signal. Always happy with that. A little bit of silver. Shame I nicked it though. Alright, we'll keep going. One cent. Cool little relic. It's a hammer off a cap gun, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Place to go nice and slow. It's about a foot down. 1941 half penny. A penny. Nice and deep that one. It's a little bit scratchy. It's coming up about a 26. Jumping around a little bit between 25, 26, 27. But yeah, pretty deep, so it'll be fine. That's all 21. Two bucks. Started the rain just before. I've got two cents and two more bits of rubbish. Just died off, so I thought I'd film this again. Two bucks. I thought that was going to be a thruppence the way it was ringing up, but it's a two dollars on its side. Right. And then about a foot away from that, what I thought was going to be two bucks, ringing up a solid 21. 1934 hay penny, Commonwealth penny, Commonwealth half penny. It's amazing, isn't it? Only about an inch deeper. Unbelievable. Alright, let's keep going. There we go. That's solid 21. 1921 halfpenny. Over 100 years old. How cool is that? Right. Keep on keeping on. Looks like a 1926 or a 1936 Commonwealth halfpenny. Another solid 21. 22 tone. Yeah, it's not bad. It's all been all these last ones have all been within about a meter and a half, two meters. Pretty good gum. Yeah, let's see if we can find some more. Well, I got the heart racing. It's only a 1947 penny. It was giving me a solid 33 tone, which is normally silver. <laughs> Not very uh, often disappointed to dig up an old coin, but uh, when you get a signal like that, oh man, I was uh, hoping for something else. But, uh, I'll check over the hole, you never know. But uh, yeah, still, keep going. Alright, another coin spill. That is just the imprint. Amazing how uh, detailed the imprint can be sometimes. The coin must have been packed in nice and hard. Have a hay penny, have a commonwealth hay penny. Can't see the dot in that one. 1929 maybe. Alright, keep going. Like 1915 maybe, one penny. It's ringing up a 24, 
using the close up, just pulled it out and it was uh, bringing up 22. Alright, let's keep going. That one, pretty good condition, 1921 halfpenny. It's getting close to a foot down that one as well. It's a good find. Alright, slowly making my way back to the car now. Hopefully we can pick up another silver. Another hay penny, 1942. Get a lot of this year. 1942 hay pennies and pennies. I think it's hay pennies actually. It's just hay pennies mainly. <laughs> Alright. That might just about be it. Just want to say thanks for tuning in. And yeah, uh, after having COVID, I haven't been out much. I just haven't had the energy to get up early. <laughs> But uh, you know, hopefully I can turn that around and get out and do a bit more hunting and get some more videos up. Well, thanks for watching. That's why you check your holes. No penny. 1944 penny. <laughs> awesome. Coin. It's a bit dark here. Just keep finding them. So they're more when they're, uh, Bringing up in your ear. Another roof in. Queen Elizabeth. 55. 55? 55. 55. Mm -hmm.